Thank you for inviting me here. I appreciate that kind introduction, although I must admit to being overwhelmed by the hyperbolic uh, tone of the inscription on that plaque. I could have used some of that verbiage uh, 55 or 60 years ago uh, when I was working to gain approval and support for some of my operations and programs back then. I'm going to be brief. These remarks were prepared earlier for an in-house Wilson Center gathering which has not taken place. But I have kept them as is. The rest of you are simply listening in to my brief benediction. I'm told that my old workbench is being dedicated uh, to posterity and I'm supposed to say something about it. I'm glad for the opportunity to do so. Many years ago, when I was a rifle captain commanding a company of uh, 200 men, I had an unusual senior non-commissioned officer as my first sergeant. He was a tough old coot, grizzled and wrinkled, easily twice my age, and he had taken upon himself the responsibility of my development as a young military leader. He had a habit of keeping a deck of three by five cards wrapped in a rubber band in his breast pocket. And when he got the opportunity at a quiet moment, uh, he would say, uh, uh, Sir, I want to lay something on you. And he'd pull out his deck of cards and go through the motion of leading, dealing me one. And then he would uh, say, uh, since there was a message on the card, think about it, sir. Think about it. And I always did. So this morning I'm going to deal out five imaginary cards, one at a time, each with a message for you to think about. Number one, always remember that the Wilson Center is a subordinate part of Hamden Sydney College. The college can function without the Wilson Center, but the Wilson Center cannot even survive let alone function without the college. All that that means. Now, as we know, things are going quite well for the center, and it is a heady moment, but we cannot lose sight of the fact that we are players on the college team, uh, and the key word is teamwork. And that means, that leads to something rather important. Number two, we teach the concept of the servant leader, the servant leader. In that light, as members of the Hamlet Sydney Enterprise, we must always work for, from a strong moral foundation and project the image of the servant leader. We've simply got to practice what we teach. Number three, the words leadership and the public interest are important. We need to protect these words in our title. They make us different from other uh, centers of leadership uh, in other colleges and universities around the country. Let me elaborate a little bit. Some folks, including certain students, are turned off by our emphasis on serving the common wheel. That we are interested in turning out students for military or other forms of government service. And that's what we are about. 
And folks, that's just flat wrong. In April 1992, at my behest, there was a luncheon meeting between myself and then President Ralph Rossum and Dean of the Faculty, Scott Colling. At this meeting, I proposed that the college develop a Center for Excellence, a Center for Excellence in Public Service. Those two gentlemen liked the idea. We talked about it a bit and said we'd get some folks to work on it, but it languished. Uh, in 1996, I was able to get a thing called the Society of 91 going as a kind of an outgrowth of that meeting. But a lot of time passed with very little happening other than that. And we owe thanks to the indefatigable David Marion, whose creative efforts and dedication got us to where we are today. And uh, words, leadership in the public interest remain in our title. Now there's an additional message here for students who are intent on using the Hamlet Sydney experience as a springboard to the accumulation of, of wealth, getting out there in business and making money. This message goes, it can be a good thing to go into business, to become a tycoon or a titan of industry. Running a successful business, however large or small, can be good for society as a whole. So it's okay to accumulate wealth, but there are two fundamental criteria to be considered here. The first one is how do you go about generating wealth, and the second is what do you do with your wealth after you get it. The Hamlet Sydney Honor Code comes in here. You don't turn off the Honor Code when you graduate, but <clears throat> you can still serve the public interest while making a pile of money. I'm making this point to those who would remove the term public interest from our title. I want to emphasize that we in the center are patriots, and we're not ashamed of the word in today's uh, critic, politically collect society. Uh, we want to, to make sure the public, the public survives and that it flourishes. Number four, we ask ourselves, is what we are doing a, a job, a profession, or calling? If it is a job, doing a good job <clears throat> will help uh, maintain the status quo, will help keep the ship afloat. Are we satisfied with that? If it is a profession, our pursuit of professional excellence in what we do can bring about steady improvement toward established goals. Is that good enough for us? If it is a calling, Viewing our undertaking as a calling can move the Wilson Center uh, to new levels and make a difference beyond the portals of Hamlet Sydney College. And folks, is that not what the college is all about? We might ask ourselves then, which of these, uh, these descriptors Makes, us, makes it fun to go to work. And number five, speaking of fun, uh, we all know the adage about <clears throat> all work and no play making Jack a dull boy. Furthermore, <clears throat> work need not be a, a drudgery. And that's why we work very hard and we play hard. As you are well aware, the Wilson Center is already becoming a, a gathering place, a happening place for members of the community and visitors, especially on festive occasions such as uh, homecoming and football weekends. 
So <clears throat> here we owe a deep debt of gratitude to Board Chairman Emeritus William Boyness for his successful fundraising efforts in securing our present base of operations. Our success in this area to date is something we must continue to build on. A welcoming place for people to hang out. Now there are more cards in my old sergeant's uh, deck, each with its own message. Take the long view. Keep everyone fully informed. Be transparent except in personal matters. But I will cut at this point, and I do have a card for the Board of Trustees. Always remember, there is a significant difference between management and leadership. Ambit City College is more than a business, much more. Think about it. Again, I thank you for listening to me and for allowing me to call my initials on my old workbench. God bless us all, every one of us. Mm -hmm.